What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is another finals video. Hey, I'm going to be going over the settings, max FPS, best settings, also preference settings for how I play the game and what I think is right. But ultimately, just a general in-depth guide to the settings of the game. It's been about six months since I put a video out about this. Had a few comments that people wanted me to update it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Escape, settings, obviously turn on use relative team colors or really enemy team colors we have different colors associated with different teams so as we're playing fighting communicating killing people we can call that out and we know how many we have left you can also see different colors of who's capturing what objectives and things like that it needs to be on so hide player names i turn that off you can turn it on if you want to there's really no need for it preferred region automatic i don't want to mess with the process of that so i just leave it on automatic instead of selecting north america i turn off auto sprint there are times where i don't want to be auto sprinting you know so i, I leave it off controller i don't use control so I'm not going to deal with that mouse and keyboard. I play on a 1200 DPI, I believe still. So I, I dropped my mouse sensitivity down to 45. I scaled the uh, zoom sensitivity down to 75%. I left this at hundred. This is not really worth it. The, uh, the focal link sensitivity. I don't, I don't, uh, turn that on. I've noticed it's, it's not really, it doesn't live up to the hype of what it's supposed to do. And then, um, invert, uh, I don't do that obviously. So these settings are all pretty much default. The only things I've changed is quick melee and sliding. Um, to be on my thumb mouse buttons and everything else is it's pretty much the same so so accessibility um leave it on default if you have colorblind issues or if you you know want to just play with different colors that's um preference subtitles i turn off don't need them it's kind of silly motion blur disabled audio master volume this game is really loud for some reason so i've turned the master volume down a little bit music volume is very low a special effects volume i leave that at 100 dialogue volume i've turned down uh, i don't mess with voice chat i'm usually playing in discord with people and the rest of this i haven't even touched on i would encourage people to leave this night mode thing off i don't i don't even know why that's in there but so let's go to video so let's start from the top if you're having trouble you don't tab out a lot if you're having trouble with frames etc make sure you play on full screen do not play on windowed full screen all games perform better when they are full screen so do that this resolution should be your native resolution i disable vsync but if you're having trouble with screen tearing and things like that, make sure you turn that on. NVIDIA low latency, I have that on. Frame rate limit, I have it unlimited, but you can cap it if you want. But it's good to just go ahead and leave it unlimited. So this one's a big one. Um, these are the two that I would focus on if you have uh, NVIDIA hardware especially. I would do NVIDIA DLSS auto and leave that. Or I would do taau so i use taa but if you again if you start having some blurring uh especially with some textures in the game like this tree right here if you're running and stuff maybe try to switch it back to nvidia uh, but for me i have no problems taa i get a few more frames running that one so that's what i stick with field of view most people are going to play on 100 especially light players you know close quarters all that stuff this is why i do this because i'm getting a little bit older and uh <laughs> i need to be able to see i like to play ar i like to play medium and i like to be on rooftops things like that so it does help me to bring the field of view in a little bit while i'm adsing so don't make fun of me guys anyways motion blur disabled lens distortion disabled i do leave the uh illumination rtx illumination on static because of performance cost um you can change it. it it doesn't really it doesn't really do anything for my game so I, I leave it at static it doesn't really make anything that much you know more magical so uh quality level i go and put it on customs view distance i leave it on high um not epic but high low low i mess with post processing um for now it's on medium but you can mess with that and drop it to low if you need to and then everything else low man i don't if you want to inch out some graphics and things like that you can maybe bump up foliage effects and texture i would leave the uh the illumination on on basically low again i would leave shadows on low but if you wanted to up it up a little bit i would mess with these three other than that guys um that's what i found to be best and uh you know it's so and then one last thing you need to do you need to open up your nvidia control panel go to program settings make sure you select the finals scroll down to here make sure your gpu is being is the one that's being selected if you have multiple gpus especially prefer maximum performance texture filtering turn that on quality high performance try linear optimization on as well and the rest of these you can leave the same so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video hey if you have any questions or if you notice something different please let me know drop them in the comments below also join the collective i'm gonna put the discord link below lots of like-minded fps gamers in there so feel free to join that but that's all i have for this video guys i will catch you on the next one thank you